this is day 93, I believe, and this is our zero day. I am sitting on a lawn chair outside of a hotel room because that is how I do a zero day. I was supposed to be sitting by the pool, even though it's almost 100 degrees out here, but the pool is closed for the season. I don't understand this. Um, apparently Labor Day hits and everyone thinks it's fall because it clearly doesn't look like fall at all, but that's okay, whatever. Uh, so yeah, it's like stupidly warm. Warmer than yesterday, so today was definitely a good day zero because the section we're going to be hiking in, which is the plan for tomorrow, is 19 miles and there's no water again. Uh, there's a little bit of water at the beginning, but that's not why you usually need to camp off because you've already done that. It's at the end. But, uh, so we'll see how that goes. I think there's some, there was some possibility for rain in the forecast, but that's probably unlikely as well since it is a beautiful blue sky. It is hot. I thought I didn't, at least didn't try to enjoy the heat. Uh, maybe, you know, rest some of those bruises and bumps that I keep getting. My forehead is healing. It's a little on the yellowish side at this point for the bruises. Um, but other than that, we're all good. Just resting. We got some resupply done. We did our laundry. We've showered. And like I said, I'm just relaxing for the afternoon because that is what the zero is all about. Okay, so that's pretty much it and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow when we actually start hiking again in this heat. I think this heat's supposed to last a few more days and then break back down to the mid-20s, so high 70s, which is I think the normal temperature, but it's just crazy hot right now. Alright, and the soothing sounds of the AC and the highway. But that's what you get when you pick a hotel near the trail. Alright, see you tomorrow. Good morning, we're on day 94. Uh, we are at the Pine Grove Furnace National or State Park. I don't know. It's the halfway point we left off uh, on Tuesday. So we took our zero in air conditioning, which was lovely because it's hot. It's still hot, um, but that's okay. I think today is supposed to be the, really the last hot day, but of course, we're doing a 19 mile day because we're trying to get to, I think it's to Port Union is the town. Anyway, uh, we couldn't do the half gallon ice cream challenge because the store was closed. It's still closed. So we went for a swim in that little lake uh, that I took a picture of. I didn't take a picture of it when we actually went swimming because it was really packed full of families and kids and yeah, I didn't want to be too weird taking pictures of it, so I just gave it a quick picture there. But it was a great lake to go swimming in. It was, it felt so refreshing. Anyway, so we're gonna just uh, keep going today, and uh, so we did make it to the halfway point, like I said, uh, before we took our zero. But the official, official halfway point is not for another like eight miles because they keep moving the trail. So did I make my goal? Yes and no. I mean, I made it to the halfway point enough, but the official halfway point, no. So, but that was planned because that day was already an 18 mile day, I think we did. So it was a little intense. Am I going that way? Well, this way. I think I'm going straight. I think, yeah, straight. Um, so, yes. Yeah. So, yes and no did I make the halfway point. I made the halfway enough point when you've walked over a thousand miles. Eight more miles isn't really that big of a deal, but I will take the official picture today so that we can have that. Um, other than that, it's supposed to get up to 93 today. <sighs> So it's hot, 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 um, but the sun is shining and it's not raining. My feet are dry. They're, we're dry, we're clean, we're caffeinated. It's 
So that's it, and I'll stop talking and get cracking to the middle point, middle, midpoint, whatever. All right, let's get going. Okay, so that I just took a picture of was the famed general store in which you would have done the half gallon ice cream challenge. And yeah, that just obviously not going to happen because it's closed, but it's because it's after Labor Day because we don't love the Sobos. That's okay. We're going to keep going. And there's the mansion I took a picture of the other day. Because we did make it here, like I said, and we got to here. But since this is where I left off on Tuesday, this is where I'm continuing from. So let's keep going. Right now I'm just doing road walking, so it's on pavement. So it's quite lovely. All right. As you can see, quite lovely. But it won't be long until I just got to go up, turn this corner, and then I'm into the bush again. And in the shade, thankfully. Just to give you an idea what the trail looks like, in pretty decent shape. Um, for the first eight, eight and a half miles really is kind of uphill, not steep uphill, just steady uphill. And I think I said eight miles to the halfway point. It's not, it's only another four-ish miles to the halfway point, which is I believe mile 1,099.2 to be exact for this year. I'm sure someone will change that for next year. But, so it's definitely gonna be a bit of a hike this morning for those first eight miles, because it's it's warm. I'm a, I think it, well, I was sweaty as soon as I got outside, because like I said, we took our zero yesterday, which, it was a lovely zero day in AC because you got to have air conditioning in this weather if you're going to have a zero because that's how I roll. But uh, the day before swimming in the lake was wonderful. That was uh, nice and cool and lots of little fishies in there. I was quite surprised. All right. So the bugs are as usual me and annoying but I'm not gonna talk too long because soon you won't be able to hear me and I'll huff and a puff because with this excess heat definitely makes it a little more challenging but I got lots of water on me because the water sources really kind of are right at the beginning when you don't really need them because you're already full and I took some extra water at uh, at the furnace, uh, pine grown furnace bathrooms here because it was there. So I am well unhydrated. Okay, time to start sweating. Huh, let's go. Okay, so this is the one of the first water sources we have access to on the trail today. But again, it's, we're only like maybe two miles in, so. I mean, it'd be good if you're coming from the other direction, if you're northbound, but as a Sobo, you've probably already got plenty of water, but it is nice to know there's some, still some water left. starting to fall. There's not even a breeze and they're falling. Oh. 
Okay, ah, bugger, bugger, bugger. Again, no, that was definitely a hornet. I just uh, literally walked over a log, looked down, and boom, there was a hornet's nest right, or whatever, the yellow jackets, or whatever the ones that do the nests on the ground. It's a little log, and right on the other side of that little log was a nest. Stepped over it, saw it, and ran, but I wasn't fast enough. I did get bit. Bugger, that hurts. Although I gotta say, it was definitely different from the last bite I got. This one hurt, but it dissipates quickly. So that last one I got was definitely not the same. <sighs> anyway, that is not how I wanted to have this day start. Because I'm only just, it was literally just not long after the, the water source that I just showed. <sighs> okay. Oh. I'm gonna just take a moment to rest. Okay, so this used to be the old halfway point, which I'm standing in front of, but that's for 1,090.5 both directions. Well, that's no longer the case, so that's not the actual halfway point anymore, but that is the old halfway point. And we have a mailbox here, which has the log book and everything in it. And uh, let's get to the real halfway point. Okay, so this is Tom's Run's shelter here. It's actually quite nice. It's got a fire pit, lawn chair, picnic tables, hot spot. It's tiny. You even got a thermometer. I guess we're 82, 83, somewhere in there. Ah, this is definitely one of the best laid out shelters I've seen. You've got a little gazebo with picnic tables, spring and privy. All the things a hiker could possibly want. <sighs> Except the actual halfway part. <laughs> but we're almost there. So let's keep going. Oh, the spring's over there. So definitely water on the trail. An absolute must. This thunder you're hearing in the background. There's a little dark cloud over yonder, but I don't think it's going to rain on us. It's just the sky applauding us for making it halfway. This is Stick with it. This is cheering us on. I'm going to go with that. Okay, so we have made it to the halfway point. Yay! <laughs> Seems a little anticlimactic. It's, uh, leaves are turning red. Uh, quickly. I'm not happy about that, but halfway point. <laughs> 